is going on guys? Upstate Blake here coming at you live Christmas Eve. I hope everyone's having a safe and fun holiday. Happy that you're here. Uh, let's get into it. What the heck is he doing out there? getting ready to do a little stage three testing. Got to get the clutch dial then. We're going to figure it out, but they'll get some awesome content. I got the handlebar mount ready to go with the GoPro showing all the information I need, the RPMs that I'm running. So once I get back to the shop, I can relook at it. It's kind of like a data logging, but it's a rigged data logging, but it works. Without further ado, time to take you guys for a ride, get the stage three dialed in with the new clutch and uh, get it ready for trail riding and racing season. Let's do it. Back from the first stage three rip with a helmet on my eyes are blistering not a bad first uh test run 86 ish rpms we're looking to see probably around 89 nine grand so do a little more clutch into it and uh get back to it look at these two units sitting next to each other same chassis different year couldn't ask for a better day 19 degrees, no wind, and we got ice. You know, man, I have I have memories as a little kid being able to ride this ice on Thanksgiving. I mean, rideable shoreline ice, but I don't really know when the change was in the last couple of years. It's probably in the last decade, but either way, I mean, any time that you can be on the ice or riding the trails in December is a good freaking day. The new standards pretty much after January 1st. If you can ride after January 1st, you're in good shape, but all I know is 2021 december christmas eve and we are on the snowmobile on the ice and today is a good freaking day so i think it's time to shut my mouth and uh, get back to doing some testing here let's go fast send it Wrapping up the night here. Um, hope everyone had a good Christmas. Just uh, right before I go to bed, I had to come out and look at the uh, units one last time. Stay tuned for the review on this thing tomorrow. It is going to be wicked. Uh, it's all weather dependent. Right now it is currently 33 degrees. We need that temperature to drop about five before we have rideable ice again tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping, should be a good day. We did the clutch work on this, so we're gonna go out and test this in the morning. And this thing is just stupid, but I'm sure you guys are gonna see that shortly, but see you tomorrow. Very excited about the new Yamaha gear. Got the matching hat and the jacket, and then, oh! It's like Superman. 
What is going on, guys? A very pleasant update this morning. Uh, as hopefully predicted, with the fingers crossed, um, the freezing rain stopped. It dropped. It's a nice brisk 25 degrees out. We'd always love to see colder, but we take what we can get. That freezing rain and the whole ice layer froze overnight, so I'm about to go out there and check it. But we are looking good for some test and tune on Blue's Clues and see what this guy can do. Really, really excited about that one over there. That thing is going to be a rocket ship. Handy dandy survival axe. Handy dandy ET claw gloves. All righty. Testing the ice a little bit further out here. We are in good shape. There it is. Alrighty, so that's all the axe heads. So at least four inches, I'm gonna say closer to five. Gotta love frozen and burnout marks. That's always fun. Nothing better than that. Today is going to be a good day of some testing. I've seen this one rip. Three. Go back. So I'm, I'm studying with baby boost right here. That is insane. My data login. Okay, so that's. Fine. So first impressions of that thing, it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. You guys heard that. It, just a lot of fine tuning and dialing in to do, but that thing is going to be absolutely stupid. Oh, so much power. But currently getting some steps in, doing a little workout, and we'll get back to filming. Thing's nuts. I'm a mile away, and you can hear it that clear. No one asked you, stupid sign. All right, stop looking at me like that. You guys, that was a good walk. Um, we just got back to the compound. I was gonna go immediately make some lunch, but I just got an offer to go try the new orange hot rod out. So we're not gonna go turn that down and gonna go full send it real quick. <laughs> Jakey brought over the ZRT 600. Makes 9,000 horsepower. Count the pipes. It is clean, man. They do not build them like they used to. Fun little 
rip on a cheeky CRT in there and uh, getting ready to put this away for the evening. Ha, ha, ha. 